neurodegeneration in repeat disorders can be caused by toxic proteins produced by a mechanism called RAN translation. RAN stands for Repeat Associated Non-AUG Translation and is the main subject of this educational video. Many brain diseases are caused by RAN translation. For example, Huntington disease, spinocerebellar ataxia type 8, myotonic dystrophia type 1, C9 orf linked amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and frontotemporal dementia, and last but not least, fragile X associated tremor and ataxia syndrome. These diseases are caused by allegation of the different repeats in different genes in the human genome. In this video, we will mainly focus on the CGG repeat of FAXTAS and the G4C2 repeat for C9 ORF ALS FTD. So if we take these repeats, both repeats are translated into different toxic proteins. These proteins accumulate in the brain and result in a specific brain pathology characterized by inclusions in neurons. But how are these repeats translated in human beings? In healthy individuals, RNA is translated by ribosomes that scan the RNA for an AUG start site and start producing protein from this point on. In FAXTAS and c 9 orf ALS FTD patients, the RNA coding for fMRP and c 9 orf protein is mutated by elongated repetitive sequences in the gene. If we zoom in on the mutated repeat sequence, in this case the CGG repeat sequence, we find a typical hairpin-like structure. When a ribosome scans the RNA and encounters this structure, three possible things can happen. First, the ribosome gets stalled by the hairpin and can't continue translation of the normal protein. Second, the ribosome recognizes an alternative start site located in front of the repeat. And third, the ribosome scans the repeat and starts translation in the hairpin. The second and third possibility result in translation of toxic proteins. Because the ribosome has different starting points, the repeat can be translated in different proteins. Depending on the reading frame for the CGG repeat in FAXTAS, translation can result in several polypeptides, namely polyarginine, polyglycine, and polyalanine. In case of the hexanucleotide G4C2 for C9 orf ALS FTD, RAN translation can result in several D-peptides, glycinalanine, glycinproline, and glycinarginine. To make things even more complicated, these repetitive sequences can be translated in the opposite direction from the antisense RNA strand. What? The CGG repeat for FAXTAS is a CCG from the antisense strand. Because again, we have different reading frames, RAN translation will result in three other proteins, polyproline, polyarginine, and polyalanine. For c 9 orf ALS FTD, RAN translation results in proline arginine, proline glycine, and proline alanine. So if we zoom out, we have a eukaryotic cell that produces all these different extra proteins. But the main question remains is how do these extra proteins contribute to disease pathology in neurodegenerative disorders?